Hi, my name is Aspen Johnson, and today I am on the Guy Report. Today, I have three climate adaptation scientists with me. Can you all explain your names, what school you go to, and what grade you are going into? My name is Claudia Christian. My name is Haley Kemp. My name is Isabella Wong. We go to the Runkle School, and we're all going into fourth grade. Can you please explain what your project is about? Well, here it's talking about what's causing global warming. So we were so since plastic is causing air pollution in a way, we decided it was a good idea to make a poster out of it. So basically, plastic is made out of petroleum oil, and petroleum oil like breaks the atmosphere and okay do you want to explain what is happening on the pictures sure so here it's basically showing that the these are like the layers of earth yes. and how the and how is polluted, is polluted by this cause. Yeah. Um, okay. What else do you need, else do you want to talk about on your project? <laughs> um. So over here we have what? How much um, plastic utensils our school uses and. explain to me about this because that looks very cool. Um, so here is the difference between these two and how hot it's been getting and how much the temperature has been rising and this of course has less and that one has more. Yes. Anything more you'd like to share about this project? Um, so over here we have what can we do and these are the three R's and these are the ideas we came up for came up for and I can see these pictures over here and what is this these pictures symbolizing? These pictures are showing what global warming is doing to the animals and the in the and the weather changes and the plants. Yes. What inspired you for this magnificent project? Well, we, we were noticing that the animals weren't, they kept, were losing homes. So we decided that we wanted to make a poster about it. Anything more you'd like to highlight about this? project? Well, this is the lunch we get, um, and how much plastic the lunch will use. On behalf of Mother Nature, thank you.